welcome back to another video in this week's Dear Piggy Java course. So in this video, like I promised, we are going to be working on Java operators. So we'll start off with our math operators, which I think are the easier ones, and then we'll move on to logical operators. So like the name says, math operators are working with math operations, quite obviously, and logical operators are going to be working a little bit more with words and symbols, and it's going to be using a little bit more logic in our brains here, right? So let's jump right in. Um, the first thing that I want to show you are increments and decrements. So these sometimes confuse people a little bit, but after a while we get the hang of it. So let me get rid of this from the last video. And so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my own variable here. So what I'm going to do is have remember how we create variables. We give it the data type int. Now say sunny num, so this is my number, and set it equal to, let's say, 9. All right, so this is our variable. Now, I'm going to print something out here that I don't quite want to change. I want to print out sunny, I'm going to do plus plus sunny num. Now, what is this doing? Take a moment, pause the video, and guess. Um, lots of things that I commonly get is 11. Lots of people will say 11, which I perfectly understand. There's nothing wrong with 11 because there's two pluses. But in actuality, it's going to give us 10. As you can see here, it does give us 10. Now, what plus plus does is it's going to add one. So don't be misled by the two pluses. Plus plus variable name means add one. Okay, so we know what plus plus means. So if you want to increment something, instead of saying nine plus one, do plus plus your variable name. One, it makes you sound fancier and more professional. Two, it's a lot easier, right? So let's leave a sunny num here for now. Int, let's do bobby num. And let's give bobby 30. So that's bobby's number. Now system.out.println. What do you guys think would happen? And clue very similar to the plus pluses. What do you think would happen if I used minus minus in the variable name instead? So in that case, when I run my code, you'll see that I get 29, right? So this is because that if you do plus plus or minus minus, it's going to subtract one. Right, so we're incrementing and decrementing by one. So minus minus var name means subtract, nope, spelled subtract wrong, subtract one. Okay, so again, these are just introductions to shorthand or how people kind of simplify things to write them out. I think pretty self-explanatory. Actually, guys, I've never tried this, but we do know that I think I need to tell you guys this. Um, I feel like this is in a way self-explanatory, but we might not know this. So division is represented by a slash. And multiplication is represented by an asterisk, so which is shift eight. Okay, so I feel like plus and minus are very easy to understand. Multiplication and division are your slash and your asterisk respectively. Okay. So there we go. This is our incrementing and decrementing. The next part that I want to do with you guys is I want to show you guys um, the plus equals minus equals times equals divide by equals thing. So let me go ahead and do this. Now, we always have a little bit of trouble understanding this, but you guys are smart. I think we'll understand. Int, let's see, what's another name? Kevin name, Kevin num. Notice I'm going from the Despicable Me minions. Okay, so what should Kevin's number be? Let's give Kevin two. All right, so this time do system.out.println. We're still printing it out. But then do Kevin num plus equals five. Okay, so... Big question of the day. What do you guys think is going to be the new value of Kevin? Any guesses? Okay, so let's run our code and see. 
it's going to give us drum roll. Not quite. There we go, seven, perfect. So what this means, guys, what this plus equals shorthand mean is it's basically doing Kevin num is equal to Kevin num plus five. So basically when you do plus equals, it's setting it equal to itself plus whatever number you put next. So hopefully that made some sense. I think a little bit more practice would help. So int, running out of names, guys. I need some names here. Um, Robbie num, this was just a random thing off the top of my head. Let's give Robbie five. Now, system.out.println, this time instead of doing plus, we're gonna do minus, but it's the same idea, guys. Don't get confused because we changed the operator. Minus equals three. So since we know that plus equals five would be two equals two plus five, then if we did three and a minus, wouldn't this give us five minus three? Maybe, just maybe, right? And you'll see that yes, indeed, it does give us two because this case we've done Robbie num. So Robbie num, I spelled that wrong, is equal to Robbie num minus three, not 43, three. There we go. So. Essentially, this is what we're getting at here. I think we've gotten the hang of it just a little bit. I'm gonna do this example with multiplication and division. Frank num, let's do seven, no, this needs to be 18. There we go, I didn't wanna do 17 because that number's prime. Okay, so system.out.println. This time, guys, and hopefully we know what we're going for here, times, no, let's do divide, slash equals three. So remember that slash means division, right? So slash is division. So we would say 18 is equal to 18 divided by three. So what would it give us? It's going to give us six because we're gonna say frank num is equal to frank num divided by three. Last example to do is multiplication. So Sally num, let's do not three, five. No, let's do seven. <laughs> Me being uncertain about the numbers. Okay, so system dot out dot print ln Sally num asterisk equals five. So what is this gonna give us? This is gonna give us seven is equal to seven times five, and seven times five is thirty-five, right? Hopefully we got our multiplication tables down, right? So we know that this is 35. So I think these mathematical operators made sense, especially as we did more practice. So we've got those down pat. The next thing that I want to work with you guys is logical operators. Remember, these are not as easy to work with as mathematical operators because you have to use your brain right remember we have a brain stuck in here so what we're gonna do i'm going to get rid of all of this let's have it go bye bye so we can clear up some space and in this case for now i'm just going to use an integer and a print line. So let's just give an integer. By doing an integer, we have something to work with because if we want to have a log logical operator, we need to see if something is true or false. So let's do int tester is equal to six. Now six is a small number. So now, guys, watch system.out.println. The first operator we're going to work with is the and and operator. Whoopsies, I should not have done that. So the first operator we're going to be working with is the and and operator. So watch carefully and see what you guys can draw. What conclusions can you draw from this? X um, less than 10 and and X greater than five. What do you guys think I'm doing here? Like, just take a guess, wild guess. Remember, these are the and and symbols and symbols. And what does and mean in real life? If I say, um, my my life needs to be 
perfect and my life needs to be have hardship as well. I don't know. That was kind of random that I just threw out there. That means that, in my opinion, my life needs to be perfect and both have hardships as well. So these things should both be met. Probably not the best example. Let's do another one. Um, my puppy has yellow fur and brown eyes. So this doesn't mean that my puppy has yellow fur and oh, maybe he has blue eyes as well. No, it means that both of these conditions have to be met. So going from that, we know that the and and operator means that both all the conditions must be met in order for it to be true. So now let's match it with this. So x is less than 10. Is 6 less than 10? Yes, we're good to go. And x needs to be greater than 5. Is 6 greater than 5? Yes, we're good to go. So in this case, our tester variable has um, gotten true for both our conditions. So all our conditions are met. So then when we run our code, it's going to give us back true. It's going to say, yes, you're correct. Whoopsies, I did something wrong. Oh, aha. All right, so I know this is a YouTube video, so none of you guys can yell at me for making this mistake, but this should have been tester. Yikes, how stupid of me, guys. Remember, um, the variable that we used was tester. Its name was tester, so you cannot use x because there is no x variable in your code. My bad, guys. What a bad mistake to make, but hopefully we learn from that. Remember, your variable names must correspond. Let's run it again, and this time, let's hope it works. So this time it gives us true, so that means yes, it did work. And it worked because six is both less than 10 and greater than five. Now, if I made six and I changed it into six, zero, 60 instead, is 60 less than 10? No, 60 is not less than 10. Is 60 greater than five? Yes, it is. However, when I run my code now, notice that it gives me false. And the reason why it gives me false is remember that the and and operator means that every single one of the conditions must be met. So I did not meet this condition, so this entire statement would be false. So that is our and and operator. Okay, so now the next thing, let me comment this out for now. We're still going to work with our tester variable, but now we're going to use the or operator, or I like to call it the or, um, because that's what it reminds me of. Okay, so the next one, let me just write this out for you. Let's use the same thing actually. 10 is less than, tester is less than 10, but this time instead of and, do these two straight bars. And I could not find these bars on my keyboard at first, but they're above the backslash or the forward slash. I can never tell the difference, but it's in the row with the P. <laughs> okay, so tester is greater than 10 or tester less greater than five. All right, so what this does is this is the equivalent of or. So when we think of or, so let's go back to my puppy example. We would say um, the puppy that I want needs to have yellow fur or brown eyes. Now what this means is it means that it can have yellow fur and blue eyes, that would work because I said or. It could have brown eyes and pink fur, that would work because I said or. It could have yellow fur and brown eyes because or means that only at least one has to be met. So at least one, that is what or means. Okay, so or means that at least one condition must be met. So this could be one, two, three, all of them even, right? It doesn't matter, but at least one. So now run your code and what is it gonna give us? Drum roll. Hope you can hear me tapping on the table, true. Okay, so this is true because while 60 is not less than 10, 60 is greater than five. So it met one of the conditions. So yes, this works, we are good to go. Okay, let me change this to 
6. So 6 meets both of these conditions because 6 is both less than 10 and greater than 5. And as you'll see here, when I run my code, it's still going to give me true. Is it going to give me true? Yes, it is. Okay, so that's because at least one condition, well, technically two conditions were met, but two is at least one. Right, now let's give a number that does not meet any of them. Let's do, huh, well then these would have to contradict, wouldn't they? So let's say tester has to be greater than 10 and or tester has to be greater than 5 and set this equal to 3. So that means that this would not work because 3 is not greater than 10. 3 is also not greater than 5. So notice that when I run my code now, you'll see that you get, what do we get? False, right? Because zero conditions were met and zero is not at least one. Okay, so in this video, we worked on our math operators, incrementing, decrementing, shorthand, and we worked with our and and or operators. So in this next video, we are going to be working a little bit more with logical operators, but we're going to be using them in our if statement. So I'll see you guys in that video. Bye guys.